Pastor Jerry, Pastor Jerry, look, in that, you always say, um, how would you shout? In that moment, I wasn't able to shout. <laughs> I was dumbstruck. Uh, my name is Ugo. Um, my, this is my wife, Priska. We're making this video uh, from Edmonton, Canada. Uh, we are here to praise God for what He has done in our lives. For the last several years, we've had several miscarriages. It's been one miscarriage after the other in quick succession. Um, and then we started praying about it. Uh, about it and so last year we didn't have a miscarriage we had a stillbirth which and if you look at the circumstances surrounding the stillbirth it was quite unusual and also traumatic as well i will let priska continue the story from here because it was more lived experience for her last year in october um i went into preterm labor and i ended up having the baby and uh, they couldn't save the baby because she was a little so we were very devastated with the whole thing but we didn't give up we continued to pray and we got more serious with uh, joining NSPPD. And um, so uh, at the beginning of this year, I got pregnant again. And I remember uh, Pastor Jerry um, had instructed us to uh, write seven things that we want and seven things that we don't want. I think that was in March. And um, also download a picture of what you want. So I had downloaded a picture of a scan showing a heartbeat of a baby. Also downloaded a picture of a pregnant woman from month one to month nine. And also downloaded a picture of a lady that is carrying her baby as well. So, and also I had made a decision to sow a seed of each month of the pregnancy. So every first of every month, I just sow a seed of protection. The pregnancy was very challenging, uh, one bad news after the other, but whatever comes by, we always uh, take it to fire out and use it to pray and everything will continue progressing. Uh, with all the negative news that they gave us from uh, me having a short cervix at 20, 23 weeks, uh, they found that I had a short cervix and they told me that the baby will not, I can, I won't be able to carry the baby to full term. I can get to 28 weeks uh, if miracle happens it will be 32 weeks but they doubt it that I'll get to 32 weeks we continue to pray continue to uh, take everything to fire altar we went from 26 weeks to 30 weeks to carrying the baby to full term with no problem so uh, that was amazing. 48 week, that was when we had the baby. We delivered our baby boy and everything went well as well. We thank God for everything that had happened. The journey was not easy, but if not God, we wouldn't have been here today. And also, we thank Pastor Jerry and the crew, every single person. We just want to thank God for everything that happened and we are grateful for NSPPD for uh, streams of joy, Edmund family as well. Thank you. What God cannot do does not exist. Good morning, Pastor Jerry. My name is Aisha Ochoa and I'm making this video from Lagos, Nigeria. Oh my God. So, I am the drum girl. That's what people have been referring to me. So, I was the one that gave a testimony about hearing drums. That Pastor Jerry, you know, gave a declaration and it stopped. I had a breakout all over my body. I could not explain it because I slept in the night, woke up in the morning and I saw that there was an outbreak of something that looked like ringworms all over my body. I mean all over my body, Pastor Jerry, my private areas, my back, my stomach, my hands, my palm, my legs, everywhere. I said I wearing long clothes. I couldn't even go out and when I needed to go out, I would cover up terribly, even in heat. So. I knew something was wrong, so what I did was I went back to Abuja. I went to Streams of Joy. I worshipped with uh, Streams of Joy on Sunday. I joined NSPPD on Monday and Tuesday. Then on Tuesday, I bought the anointing oil. So before then, before I went to Abuja, I went to the pharmacy first when I noticed it. And the pharmacist was, in fact, she couldn't hide her surprise because she said she has not seen an outbreak of ringworms like this. That was what she called it. She said it's obviously a fungal infection, it looks like ringworms. So I said, okay, she said I should go to the hospital. I went to the hospital and the, the doctor I met with did not even make this. She said, okay, I have to do a blood test. The fungal infections are very stubborn. I have to be on medication for a long time. 
three to four months that um, they'll have to monitor my liver function, my kidney function. When I was here, I just knew that I just knew I was going to Abuja. This one is me and God. God will solve this one. So I went to Abuja on Tuesday before I left. I bought the anointing oil. So it's a very small bottle, right? So I prayed on it during NSPPD that day and I came back to Lagos. So on Wednesday morning during the prayers, I prayed. And I told God that before this bottle will finish, let my word come on the altar of fire and let this sickness be reversed. So what I was doing then was, when an SPD is going on, I'll have my bath and I'll apply the oil all over my body and I'll be shouting fire. So, it, so because it's a small bottle, it only lasted for three days because I had to apply it all over my body. Pastor Jerry, on the third day, after I had applied the last drop of oil, I just heard, Know who you are, but I command this fungi infection. Let it be reversed by fire. Let it be reversed by fire. Pastor Jerry, my body cleared like nothing happened to me. In fact, old scars I had. I had a part, there's a part of my leg where fire burnt me when I was in secondary school. And it left a very big and obvious scar. Pastor Jerry, I looked for the scar and I couldn't find it. Old scars on my body cleared. Everything left after the declaration. Something that they told me I'll have to treat for a period of three to four months. The Lord cleared it and reversed it after one word of knowledge from Pastor Jerry. Thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough. What God cannot do does not exist. What our God cannot do, cannot turn around, does not exist. My name is Goswin. I'm making this video from Port Harcourt, Nigeria. I was sick from the month of April, immediately a weekend with, within Easter. I felt sick, I was down, sick within days, just going down, going down. I was sick unto death. When they took me to the hospital, they, they are whispering, they say CC, I didn't understand that grammar. That's fine, and they say CC, that's it. I let that describe as this critical case, you know. So they refer me to the one doctor at uh, Air Force Hospital immediately there, and the doctor when I look at it and they refer me to go and do so many tests. I did so many, many tests from qualified standard hospitals in Port Harcourt here. At the end of the day, what they discovered that has happened to me is called lumbar splendosis. I was having arthritis of the spine. What shocked me? Why I'm making this video and thanking God that I just, I saw life returning back. All the four doctors in four different locations, what they say. Pastor, do you repeat them? No one says it's arthritis of the spine. Arthritis of the spine by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. I command, let it be reversed. One said there is a growth at the back. Growth in your spine. Growth in your spine. Let it be reversed. One said that I was soon being paralyzed and I was having born. For every born at my knee, I can't sit. I can't stand. I can't do this thing. I can't do it. I can't move. I can't do that. I was going to become born. I was going to the state of death. I see life going out of me. Excruciating pain on a daily basis. I can't lie now. I can, but those things I can't do before, I can do it now. Before, I can't sit down for five minutes. But now I can sit. If I can't stand up for five minutes, but I can stand for five hours. Who am I to lie down on the ground? No, I can't lie down even on the bed. There's something happened on the 21st of August. That's Papa's pre birthday night, which is 22nd. On the 21st, I was here. Papa said, That's the last one. He said, There is a, a, a spinal cord, um, a curve that is not, uh, it's not aligned with the pelvic. It's not aligned. He mentioned it, the doctor mentioned it. Your pelvis and your spine, ah. they are not aligned. Ah. They are not ah. aligned. Ah. 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 If you are the one putting on the last yes, the devil is a lie. Yes, the devil is a lie. Yes, yes. By the power that raises yes, from the dead, yes, I announce, yes, let it be reversed. Yes. That's what the end of it. Anything called lumbar. Each one got to mention, different dimension. He mentioned that. But that's not even the matter. The kids are don't go to toilets anyhow. See, why I go to toilet. If I go to toilet, come. I go to toilet, I will put my hand on the floor, put my leg this way. This way, if I go to toilet, because I can't sit down. That's the way I've been going to toilet. Not one day, not one week, not one month, not two months. But now I can comfortably sit. I can sit. In fact, not sit. 
I'll be fine. Go to the toilet. I'll be like that for like 35 minutes. Wait to one hour because no, no strength to push out. So I'm here to thank God that is fire in this altar. Ready indeed. What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Miriam from Maui. I'm here to testify to the goodness of the Lord. I had a, an enlarged heart as a kid when I was growing up. Of course, they gave me medication, but they didn't do a checkup to see if the enlarged heart had healed completely. Almost four years ago, that the heart was still enlarged. And apart from the heart being enlarged, I also had a mitral valve regurgitation, which means the blood was not flowing the way it should. Instead of going forward, some of it would go forward and the other would come backwards. Now, then I joined the NSPBD this year. When Pastor Jenny would pray, and mission every heart enlargement every heart enlargement if you are the one putting on the last name any heart enlargement by the power that raised jesus from the dead i decree let it be reversed my fire let it be reversed my fire if they say i don't know who you are but this is what they told you out of a there's an abnormal blood flow in your heart i don't understand it but that is what i hear if you are the one putting on the live stream and say, I am the one by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. I command, let it be reversed right now. Last week, I decided to go to the hospital so that I can do a checkup. I said, Ah, so many, so many healings I've seen, seen on this platform. In fact, people have gotten back organs they didn't need. Surely, God has touched my heart. So, I want you to do the test at the hospital. And yeah, God has perfected it. Them, they actually said none of the valves are regurgitating and that all the chambers in the heart are normal sized. So my heart is no longer night and I would like to give God all the praise and all the glory. And just in case somebody is wondering, I checked because I was trying to be ready for critics. If they say, ah, you know, they help by themselves. I checked valves don't heal by themselves. The situation can only get worse, but never better. So God has done it. Hallelujah. What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Bukola Janet. I live in the Netherlands. I joined SVPD in 2021 and God has been amazing. He has been doing wonderful things in my life and in my family. I had this little lump on my foot. I had a chair by the GP and the GP referred me for remover. I got it removed the first week of September 2023. Then I forgot about it. The pathology result wasn't forthcoming, so I just forgot about it because I know that it, there's nothing. It's just a little lump on my foot. Only to get a cough on 16th of November from the cancer hospital that uh, my, they had my referent that she called me for checkups. Oh. I was afraid, but at the same time, I kept on declaring the word of God. I gathered myself together against stamina, at this platform against stamina in the word of God. I kept on declaring the word of God. I didn't allow the word of God to leave my mouth. Then I went to play, oh Lord, show me mercy. I also play, and the most I showed up. One of the day, Pastor Jerry declared, said, whatsoever the enemy is building in your life, we say no, let them scatter. On 20th November, Pastor Jerry declared, he crowns the year with his goodness, not with calamity. He declares, suddenly, cancer is not funny. There shall be no negative suddenly. The Bible says, Thou crown it our year. Thou crown it our year. Thou crown it our year. With good things. Because he crown it your year. Not with disaster. He does not crown your year. With bitterness or suddenly. Cancer will not be found. Hear me clearly. Shakabala. No negative suddenly shall arise. Those are the words that was declared. I went to the cancer hospital on 21st November and they sat me down that they found what was not expected in the result that uh, they found cancer and I told them it cannot be me. They said, why? I said, because Jesus already paid for it. They were so amazed. He asked me, okay, go for CT scan, go for blood work, go for, for hemara. On 21st of November, before I went for the 
for the test, Pastor Jerry declared, you will not call on the name of the Lord and your body will be ravaged with sickness. You will not call on the name of God uh -huh. and sicknesses will ravage your body. Let us see how this prayer will help you. Keep on us, uh, the sound of your amen. Let the Lord arise and make an effort for himself. I had on to do what I went in for the CT scan and the blood work. I kept on declaring what God cannot do does not exist. What they found before, they will not find it again. It is reversed. It cannot be me. Jesus already paid for it. I was called for the results days after. And the lady said, Oh, we, your result is out. I want to tell you the result. I said, okay, go on. And she told me, your result was very good. The blood work and the CT scan is very good. Oh, Pastor Jerry, you said, what? How will you shout? I shouted. I screamed. I cried. I roared. The Lord has shown me great mercy. Indeed, he has shown me great mercy. I bless the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord be praised forevermore. Pastor Jerry, God bless you. You are doing amazing work. Continue. The whole of God will never run dry upon your life. All that concerns you and your family, the Lord will perfect. God bless you. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Betty Roma and I'm testifying from the UK. Um, Pastor Jerry, I'm here to appreciate God for his mercies over my life. A few months ago, I experienced persistent dizziness and um, stomach pains so i decided to consult my gp after tests and scans i received a call indicating low red blood cell count and a recommendation for further uh, examinations including a bowel cancer test on hearing cancer to be honest i was initially scared but then i remember that i am on the uh, fire altar. Fast forward to the 10th of October, I received another call from the hospital saying my result had come back uh, positive and that will be scheduled for further procedures. That's gastroscopy and coloscopy. But before then, I was also asked to uh, meet with the oncologist on the 12th of October at the colorectal unit. So, uh, for some strange reasons, I felt after accepting the appointment, uh, for some strange reasons, I felt an urge to uh, reschedule it, so I did. On the uh, uh, throne room verdict of the 12th of October, of course I was at the altar and 30 minutes plus into the prayer, Pastor Jerry uh, said, um, colorectal cancer be reversed. Colorectal cancer be reversed. Colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer. Rebe Adasha. We command. Be reversed, my fire. And I screamed. I I claimed that word. I prayed with it. I recorded that. Uh, that part of the prayer, I kept declaring it over my life. I kept praying it. I kept praying it. I kept praying it. And um, fast forward to again to the 5th of November, which was the day for the procedures. Um, I went to the hospital bed before going to the hospital because it was on a Sunday. I decided to join Strings of Joy uh, Sunday service online. And um, uh, after the choir ministration, the Sam Jesus year and Pastor Jerry came up, uh, the, came up and was declaring and declaring that God will do this and do that, uh, that will make us do things that will make us shout Jesus year. And I just said a prayer. Uh, in my heart, I say, Father, please let Pastor Jerry just mention anything at all that has to do with health. I just needed another confirmation, you know. And the next thing I heard Pastor Jerry say was, uh, when the doctors report whatever they, 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 they said they saw before, they will not see again. When the doctors report whatever they said they saw before, they are bound not to see it again. The only thing that you will scream is Jesus. You have done it again. Jesus. In your special way. What was it was? You made possible. Jesus. And that's 
was just it for me. That was just the confirmation confirmation that I needed. On my way to the hospital, I kept declaring it, went in for the uh, two procedures, and uh, the doctors after the procedures looked at me and said, Betty, we've got great news for you. There's no cancer, there's no evidence of cancer. Congratulations, we don't need to see you again. And I couldn't shout. Pastor Jerry, you say, how will you shout? I could not shout. I just started crying, uh, you know, and uh, I was just too overwhelmed. And I'm grateful for this altar. Thank you for teaching us uh, how to pray. Thank you for building my faith. Thank you for increasing my faith. The first miracle that God did for me beyond every other thing was, you know, uh, giving me that mindset of trusting him completely, changing my mindset and all that, believing in trusting him and going with the words that came out of this altar, uh, you know, and believing that those words were for me. And indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. PPD, celebrate the Lord, celebrate the Lord, celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord, celebrate the Lord, celebrate the Lord, celebrate the Lord. Hear me as I hear the Lord. Your own miracle is next door. Your own miracle is next door. Let me hear how will you shout? What our God cannot do. What our God cannot turn around. People of God, colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer. People of God, look at how Jesus reversed colorectal cancer. People of God, it was obvious that everything was just tilting down on that slippery slope, you know, and that was going to be a damning news for her. But look at what Jesus did. Of God, not just that the Lord mentioned the case, mm. the confirmation she needed, God gave her. And when they, she went back, what they saw before, they could not see. Can I pray for someone right now? As your amen will thunder, mm. whatever they saw before, uh. they will not see it again. Yeah. And people of God, look at that one moment that you just had a lump in your leg and you decided to remove it. And by the time they now went to take, che take it or chest, test it or check it as the case may be, they now say it is cancer. You know, people of God, this is almost like the arrow that flies by day. You know, and it just hits you from nowhere. But look at God again. Look at God again. People of God, look at God again. And, and he, she held on to all the words she heard. And look at how Jesus, you know, just reversed that negativity. People of God, these are cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. This is, these things we are talking cancer, about are cancer, cancer, cancer. Look at the way the Lord is you, kicking Jesus. them out hey. back and forth. Hey. People of God, what our God cannot do does, does not exist. exist. And when you're still trying to wrap your head around it, now comes that heart disease. Um, that is, um, what's, what was that name again? Heart enlargement. Yes. And, um, and that, um, uh, what's that called again? Um, um, okay, mitral valve regurgitation. Yes, that um, heart enlargement and mitral valve regurgitation. And she said something something she said these things don't get better by themselves you know that they, they are not they don't heal by themselves it's a it's almost like you're going to watch them deteriorate you know so how bad can it get that is what it is but see this god see this god again look at how he reversed it what our god cannot do does not exist and people of god look at that lumbar spongulosis people of god and I mean, that man was very, you know, I mean, you could call him very dramatic, you know, but, but it, it is what it is, people of God. And he, he had to demonstrate for us how he, how he, how he, I mean, who does that? Who, who does that? How do you go to toilet, you know, your hands, you know, stretch this way and that. And it's so, it's, it's so, it's so disturbing that he could not lie down. He could not sit down. He could not stand up. What life is that? You I mean, it's a, it's, it's, it's actually a very terrible thing but look at this god again look at how he reversed it thank you jesus. And look at how he reversed it so you, you know i mean look at it there's no there's you, there's no somebody help me wave your hands and just say thank you jesus just say thank you jesus and people of god look at that fungal infection you know that broke out from nowhere and it's the same if you remember her testimony she's the, she, she's the one that uh, the drum uh, the drum were beating for her that person and all has gone back and, uh, eh? that person went to do something else uh, no, the person is already dead. Yes, uh, 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 yes. not uh, not why she's on this. Yeah, uh, 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 no, no, uh, they don't uh, used to do, try that. If you uh, if you if you try bar, we give you goose. <laughs> <laughs> People of God, 
for what our God cannot do. That's what it is. is. And look at that amazing. And, and on the third, I mean, oh God, God, is, God, is, I mean, God is here. God, God is here. here. God is here. God is here. Yes, sir. She said, when God I heard all here. of that, all I just said, you know what? Let me try to just go to Abuja and uh, buy on. Uh, and then the, you know how God pays attention. How yes, Roy? Mm. And he said, God, please, on this last day, uh, let my word come. And I, the word the came. Everything disappeared. Even old, 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 old. <laughs> Even hot water that poured in secondary school. Hot water that poured when you were in secondary school. After coming in, God gave brand, 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 brand new skin. God hey. put everything totally gone. Hey. People of God, let me read hey, Most of the things that happen are not normal. Yes, sir. Are not normal. Yes, sir. Anytime you feel something, say, go and give me tablets. Hey. Go and give me. We are not, of course, in this altar. We are not. God works in different yes, ways. Sir. God yes, works sir. through the doctors as well. Yes, God. Sir, sir. But once in a while, understand that the matters of your life are not very physical. Yes, sir. For what our God cannot hey. do. That's what I say. I look at that miracle baby after many miscarriages child. and, of course, still birth. Child. Only God knows the joy that a baby brings child. to a family that has child. waited on God child. for a child. And any Jesus. family who has waited on God for oh, a child, Lord. this year will not pass you by. Amen. And then SPPD, as if you're ready, like we're ready, we pray over every liquid you have, it ceases to be ordinary. Amen. It becomes the very blood of Jesus. We Amen. pray over Amen. every substance you have, it ceases to be ordinary. Amen. It becomes the very flesh of Jesus. Amen. And our first communion is a communion that says, it is done. Amen. Amen. Eat of the flesh of Jesus. And drink of the blood of the new covenant. Once has the Lord spoken, twice have we heard it that all power belongeth unto God. Amen. And the second communion is a communion that says, It is done. Amen. Eat of the flesh of Jesus. And drink of the blood of the new covenant. And our last communion is communion of answers. Will you get on your knees wherever you are and begin to ask the Lord for three things that you desire of him? I decree it is done. I decree it is done. Eat of the flesh of Jesus. And drink of the blood of the new covenant. And people of God, the greatest miracle that can happen in the life of anyone is the miracle of a changed life. And if you're under the sound of my voice and you're saying, Pastor Jerry, please pray for me. I want to accept Jesus in my life as my personal Lord and Savior. It will be such an honor to walk you through that path. If you know you're not close to God and you're saying, I desire an intimate relationship with Jesus, please say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus come into my life. Come and be my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins. Cleanse me. Sanctify me and make me pure and whole again. Amen. If you said a prayer, simply means that you're born again. And all you require you to do right now is to send an email to the similar address, salvation at streamsofjoy.org. And all you need to write is, I gave my life to Christ. I gave my life to Christ and our online standby counselors are going to reach out to you immediately. It's important that I inform you right now that God is waiting on that testimony that you have not yet shared. People of God sending that video testimony. Remember, God didn't delay. God wasn't shy when he was sending um, your miracle to you. So go ahead and don't delay one more time and say,